And I said the same thing with FNAF foam because it was... <laughs> this is a combi oven that's been worked on like 10 times. Because steam mode doesn't work. It's had a gas valve and an igniter and something else replaced. So, now I'm here and I get to figure out what's actually wrong with it. Maybe. Here's the inside of it. Seems like... Uh, that part's been replaced, I guess. This is the boiler section here. And this is the intake blower. I don't know what's going on here. I just gotta figure it out. Two hours later. It's ration. Garbage. Shittiest combi oven ever. Check this out. This little module here. You know, it directly controls the steamer gas valve, but it remote controls this one. Um, so, you can't get like in-circuit voltages there. It's just impossible because the way that is, the one module controls both gas valves. Right here, this is like the data connection to the motors, to the little combustion wheels. I was shocked by that. It's got 120 volts there. That's so um, I'm suspect now that this isn't working right because I get nothing out of this brand new gas valve. But I can't test it in circuit. The only thing I can do is test it out of circuit. So this is how I'm testing it. I got my test leads jammed in there. This is a meter. So shut this door. Watch this. That's voltage to the gas valve. I guess it's supposed to be 120 volts. Pretty used to it being 24, but. Anyway, it's unstable. 120 and it drops off and it does funny stuff. The only load on it is the multimeter, so I guess that's why the brand new gas valve doesn't open. It's going to start buzzing at me now. So then this stupid module needs to be changed. It replaced everything else except this. So that was my guess anyway. Is that right? There's no way. Can't possibly be right. So this valve will open at 99 volts with that one all. I guess. But it's a 208 volt oven. 120 volt ignition control system. It's faulty. Garbage.